May your day be blessed as we gather to reflect and hear the gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean and Judas Iscariot who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples. In view of the abundant harvest and the need for laborers, Jesus, after inviting his disciples to pray for workers, immediately provides the initial answer to the prayer by commissioning his twelve disciples to become his co-workers in the reaping. Jesus does not only share his authority and his mission, but also prepares an administrative structure that will make possible the continuity of the movement he has started. Twelve alludes to the twelve tribes of Israel that constitute the people of God. In the choice of the twelve, we have the inauguration of the new Israel. The Twelve are an important group who, because of their close association with Jesus, provide the continuity between the historical Jesus and the early Christians. As the original witnesses, they guarantee the fidelity of the community's beliefs and practices to the teachings of Jesus. We're grateful for your presence in today's reflection. Carry the word you heard and forward the blessings to everyone you meet today. This is Father Albert Garong of the Society of St. Paul, all for the Gospel.